So go one and enter. And this is some edit score script doing something. I don't really remember right now what it does, but it's ah yeah. Uh, this is an edit score script that probably just did one thing. It uh, looked for um, uh, staves in a file and then says if you find a staff, change the staff to a staff. Which other words, in other words, it didn't change anything. But it cr creates um, a statistics file, um, an ES stats file, that shows me how many changes have been performed in each file. And the reason why I want to see this in Notepad, and this is particular, uh, 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 this is not the Windows Notepad, by the way, it's a different Notepad that I prefer working with because it is a lot more powerful and gives me more, more tools to work with. Uh, I want to see what, uh, how many changes have been performed in each file, and I can see this in this column on the right where I see uh, changes 36, 36, 36 all the way up and down the line. What this allows me to do is visually to check if all the, num um, if all the numbers are the same and I know that in fact each one of these score files has the same number of staves which is of course required, it required in order for it to be possible to uh, run all the, f the files through the page program. So I can verify, if that were not the case, if there were one file where instead of 36 changes, for instance, it would say 38 or 34 or something else, then I would know that there is an errant file in there that does not have the same staff, uh, the same number of states of all the other files. And I could stop the process now, target in on that particular file, and see ch what changes or revisions I would have to make in order to be, to be able to ba uh, batch process the entire set of files through the page program. In any event, everything is fine here. Uh, each file has um, there's 43 of these files. They all receive the same number of changes, so I am confident that I can zip it through the page program. And as soon as I close this window, uh, the batch process is going to continue automatically. And there you see that the page program has been launched once again in DOSBox. And page is going is reading in all the files now. It is. Um, um, also receiving information about staff size uh, to assign measure numbers in every measure, etc. That is being piped into the page program automatically, so I don't have to indicate that all the time. Now it's beginning to generate uh, .pag files. In other words, it's determining the first measure distribution given the staff size. And it's assigning measure numbers um, on each measure and you will see the utility of that later on in the process. And so I just have to sit and wait until it's done its work. Oh, this is an interesting uh, um, um, event that has occurred. This will occur occasionally, as um, many of you will probably know, when you batch uh, feed uh, a whole set of files into the page program, that it will that page will crash and it will give you an error message that will say, "Parameter overflow, too much data to process." And it says that right here. It also tells me on which file it uh, in, uh, uh, encountered a parameter overflow. The file is a o thirty four a dot muse, and I will make a note of that. Um, I will have to address that problem first, uh, be, because without addressing this problem first, I cannot batch process the entire set of files. So I'm going to interrupt the the, uh, the uh, batch file here and fix the problem in file a o thirty four a dot muse. I have a batch file for that. That's just called man split, which is my shorthand for manual split. And it, my, this batch file now prompts me for the file that was the trouble file. In this particular case, AO34A.Muse. And what it will then do is it will make a copy of that file. And then it will th um, create two halves of it. It will empty out the second half of the file of all the information in the first file and it will empty out the first bit of the information in the second file. 
basically using the delete command within score to delete everything so, sort of around the middle of the file to the end of the uh, file. And then everything for, from after the key signature to somewhere in the middle of the page uh, on the second file. Uh, in the attempt to uh, um, uh, avo avoid a parameter overload on that particular file. So in any event, the file we want to split is AO34A and it prompts me again and says this will split file AO34A.news continue now or terminate the bash file. Well I want to continue with that and I press enter and score opens up that file AO34A.news now, uh, in order for the split to work, I flag one of these bar, uh, of the bar lines on staff one with a um, certain parameter, which I know will, I will never use. That will simply serve as a flag. I select the second, the bar line is somewhere in the middle of this page, and I'll change parameter five to two, which will be some kind of repeat bar. Let me just zoom in on that. Um, um, Uh, it's an ending double bar. Okay, well, I can use some, whatever. I, anyway, that's my flag for this particular process. Uh, and then I save the file and I exit the score program. And it runs an edit score script and then it opens the file straight up. And you can see I have file A034A.muse up on the screen, but now the second half of this file is, is empty. I LJ this. You don't really have to do this, but I do it anyway. And I'm done with that. And now watch what happens when I go to the next file. That file is now called AO34B.muse. And here the first part of the file has been thrown out. And I'm happy with that. So I save that, LJ that, and then, and then save that file. And uh, I exit. So now I can try uh, again. I'm going to uh, feed this entire batch of files into the page program again invoking my batch file go1 it's interesting that this happened now it doesn't happen all the time but but it can happen sometimes and then when you have that problem that's just something that the page program does there's not no solution that I, that I can think of in order to circumvent that from happening I just have to step back in and, and, and fix that file real quick and then and just feed everything into the page program again. So I'm going to check again all the changes in this notepad file. 